and welcome to Engine. <laughs> oh, come on. Hello and welcome to MG Tracy and yeah, my best friend here, Steve. Steve used to be a submariner, so he's going to be giving us some help today as we go through the submarine, which is a HMS Alliance. HMS Alliance. So Steve has another great channel, and I'll put all the end cards will take you to some of his videos. Lots of naval filming and some great car and truck videos as well. So his channel is called Steve's Top, Top Days, Days Out. out. So check that one out, subscribe to him, give him a hand to get to his thousand subscribers. He smells diesel. <laughs> yes, even this time. Yeah, this used to, yeah, the diesel guy used to stink up. This is the escape training tower where you would practice an emergency evacuation of a submarine. We'll have a look at where that, what that looks on the inside on the sub in a mo. So in the submarine, this is the forward escape hatch for one person, and this is the bottom of it. I was just asking Steve what all these little nozzles are. And these are for emergency breathing if there was a fire. They don't apparently don't look, look like that on modern subs, but on this older one. And then you'd have to unplug yourself and move, take a gasp of air and move along and plug yourself on onto the next one. A bit different to being on a plane today. So this is the torpedo loading hatch. So they're big bits of kit and they are going to come on something like that and then if you're very strong and there's a lot of you then that massive torpedo ends up safely stowed there we're now in what we think is the junior rates mess where you sleep eat drink be merry when you're off duty is it yeah when you're off duty and you've got an old projector there Steve's been explaining this to me as well. well that's something you wouldn't believe. That is actually the red thing in there is an oxygen candle that goes in that unit there, and you strike the top, and it gradually makes Mixing extra yeah. oxygen for the boat. And this one here yeah. is trying to keep the oxygen clean. This is what's it called? A CO2 a scrubber. scrubber. Yeah, it's a scrubber. Stand up, Benny. The other end here. You can see the little screen where they will be able to watch some films. I heard it's the road to Rio. And then bunks would pop up when oh, it's so not being more. used for other things. And there'll be cartoons. Good old Fred, good old Fred. I came from him on, on these boats. Yeah, but they do six hours on watch, six hours on off watch. Stand up, finish. Oh, oh yes. Oh yeah, that's the road to Rio. Good old Fred, good old Fred. Oh yes! I thought I'd feel claustrophobic, but I... <laughs> oh. See, are they stuck? More bunks here. Yeah, I probably had a bit more room than that. So where did your personal stuff go? In those lockers there. Oh, I see. Devil. 
Here's a bit of Navy trivia for you. You think that's Ludo, it's a Navy version of it. It's called Uckers. Oh. I'll have to come down in the game sometime. <coughs> so we've got a different mess here. Yeah, this will be the, se the senior rates mess. Senior rates mess. Yeah, so this will be the petty officers and chief petty officers. Well, it's actually smaller than the other one. But there's not so many. Oh, I see. Not so many. They're venting the sewage tank. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh! Anyway, it's baby's heads tomorrow. Baby's heads. <laughs> What's baby's heads? <laughs> Not suitable for the film. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here you can see all the batteries. So when you're anyway, below periscope depth, tomorrow. you have to run on batteries because the diesel engines can't get any air to run. And then when you get to the surface. The craft can run on diesel engines and That's it can double, charge yeah. up the batteries <laughs> just in the way a hybrid car does it really. Right, you're probably coming to the wardroom by now. That's just at the beginning of the control room. Again, see a bit more space. This is the wardroom for the officers, and we think possibly think captain as well. Quite well, I think so. Yes, very happy with performance, but might want to read the manual. 53. All dead, 53. They uh, could extend that period by using that piece of machinery. They would draw air through those canisters made up of iron, um, no, that was lime soda, and that would draw the air through and scrub some of the CO2 out of the way. And above that, there was a, a, a brass um, little holder there, cylinder, and you'd put a candle in there made up of iron, iron powder and clodium, sorate, uh, clodium, clodium chlorate. And that would um, produce uh, burning at 600 degrees. Now these guys have got the run. Well, that stopped, did it? Have some sippers. Sorry, we are now with. This is the Tiffy's mess, and the artificer's mess, yeah, the, the senior engineers. Oh. Well, there's not many of them, then, is there? No. Oh. Keep oh. So we've got a ladder here going up to the gun hatch. So the guide said this is the computer that would be used to work out the information to launch the torpedoes to give them their destination. It doesn't actually look like it's like a computer by today's standards does it really but there we are so this room is the core of the uh, submarine really you've got three chaps that are working on the position of the sub when it's underwater controlling different aspects of it um, and where the red is actually just would have been a hole and that front one there is the attack periscope and the reason it's smaller and it creates less of a wake on the surface so you're less likely to get spotted and then at the back here, 
we've got the main periscope. I don't know if we can see in there. Let's see if we can see anything in there. Oh, yeah, I think we can there. Can you see that? Make that out there. It's on the other side. So, oh yes, you can just about make out the Spinnaker Tower there on the other side of the harbour. Oh, a real telescope view. Right, turn a little radio ready, but you still manage to have a somewhere for your coffee. Oh, that's radar. Radar. Oh, it's radar. This is the bear where the captain would spend some of his time. We're now in the radio room with a very, very latest typewriter. This is the bit that was scaring me the most. This is the this is the toilet. I just can't see me fitting in there. I mean, it's even smaller than an aircraft toilet. The ordinary, and this one that's got a bit more space and a luxury sink, which we think is probably the toilet for the senior rates. Luxury two sinks, a mirror, and we think a shower. Wow, I would have survived long on a sub. So we're now into what cooking, are we? No. Is this cooking or is this still? No, that's okay. Oh, yeah. What's this one for? This is just they clean your teeth. What's the end of it? Well, it's opposite the galley, so yeah. But why would you have to have some old spice in the galley? <laughs> <laughs> that's what they fill over the food with. <laughs> Did you never spot that? This is where Cook would be in the galley, flipping some burgers. Cooking eggs, actually, it's make me feel hungry. Do you love Julia? Do you love Julia? Do you love Julia? Right, so we're now coming into what would have been the really noisy bit and the really smelly bit of the engine room with, I guess, the massive diesel engines the workhorses of the sub. Where's the exhaust going when you're underwater? Oh, it doesn't run underwater. Right. So when you're on the surface, it's just venting normally. The gases. Yeah. They are massive, aren't they? <laughs> Is that one engine? From the uh, diesel engines looking back there to the front of the submarine. Black is engine, silver bits, clutch. Let's see how, how, you, how it actually worked. You can see the different ways here that the sub could be powered. You could have your diesel engine direct drive through the propeller and charging up the electrics, or you could just have the diesel engine charging up the electrics but not driving the prop. Or here, 
with the clutch there the diesel engine is disengaged and then you're traveling underwater using your batteries and your electric motor to power the prop this will allow you to effectively get the sub in reverse this is one of the torpedoes that's been cut away we're at the back here propeller end with its own little engine how was the engine powered? Oh, I think it's a chemical mixture. Some sort of compressed gases. Yes, yeah. That's what these would have been, is it? Yeah. Oh yes, there's another one cut away there, look, isn't it? And then the bit that's empty here is where the explosives would have been. And then this submarine had aft firing torpedo tubes as well but you can always keep your export strength lager in there yeah. if you want to the your ends of them beers. fair enough <laughs> <laughs> this is the aft torpedo loading hatch there so it will be brought in on a crane at the right angle and then chained again we're back with our emergency air supply valves. There you go, looking right through, back along the sub where we've just been. We can see the two different periscopes up there. A little tiny one in the front there, which is the attack periscope, which creates less of a wake. Please like, share and subscribe. Make sure you check out Steve's channel. And this is Paul from London, well actually Portsmouth, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio!